Hello everyone and welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games today. Back into Garrett Grigsby's War in the East 2. This is our Let's Play against the Soviet AI. And uh, I've named this the Pripyat Problem because yes, it's the only problem we've got on the map and so... So I thought I had to identify it for you. You know, where's our problem? It's only in the Pripyat. Uh, sure, sure. Well, we got a few more than that, but we're going to take care of them all. We're going to win this game. I said from the start, we'll win this game. Now, I think I predicted that we would do that by taking Moscow in 1941. Uh, that didn't happen, uh, but now we've learned to play a lot of defense anyway. Hi, John Chapel. How are you? Sarge the Rager is here. Uh, there are problems everywhere. TBJ, TBJ. Uh, I want the, well, the puppy was just underneath my feet a moment ago, uh, but to keep her quiet during the stream, she now has a big chew stick. Uh, and so we'll see. She may make an appearance. Who knows? Uh, she's on the general staff now. Hi, Paul Sanders. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, it is a beautiful day in Southern California. I can't speak for anywhere else. Uh, Dalligen is here. Um, Kiev. Do, do we call it Kiev or do we call it Kiev? Uh, you know, now all of a sudden on the TV everywhere you hear Kiev because the Ukrainians pronounce it that way. Kiev as the Russians pronounce it. I don't know. I've always called it Kiev, but uh, certainly now you guys know I've never mispronounced a, a town name in this game and so just follow my lead hi Ifler how are how are you hey wolf nor glad to see you Jan is here hello Jan uh speaking of the Pripyat problem uh we just finished watching that uh mini series Chernobyl now I know that came out a long time ago I just never got around to watching it man was that good holy smokes that that guy did a better job first of all it's one of my favorite actors the guy that plays the scientist in that but um he did the best job i've ever heard of explaining how a nuclear reactor works i feel like i could go build one now well maybe not that far but i do feel like i sort of understand how it all works now uh it was real what a show if you haven't if you've never watched it it's on hbo max just uh sit down and watch all five episodes of that it is really something it'll scare the hell out of you too uh what's up james i'm glad you're here all right let's jump on the map i gave everybody three minutes uh ding 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 uh time over okay um we were right down here now i spent almost the entire episode down here near minsk last time i didn't necessarily mean to do that but there's just a lot going on down here now we gave up some fort levels i wasn't happy about that but we do have our strongest uh, just about our strongest unit down here in the swamp uh and we are sitting four wide at least for now now there are a few swiss cheese holes in here but we've got another unit that's fairly strong there We've got one that's not quite as strong there. Uh, you know, this one I worry about, certainly, because if that gets blown away, this thing starts to close up really fast. Now, we would have a lot coming back and a lot that could go here, uh, but I'm trying to get out of here uh, the best I can. The main thing, I'm not going to go back through every damn unit. Uh, we did enough of that yesterday, but what I am going to try to do is make sure everybody's under command really quickly, and I, I think they should be. Uh, we've got 11 of 10 here under, uh, Busse or Bus or Busse. I don't know. Uh, I should have looked that one up before we started. Uh, Johannes Block is here. He is sitting at 10 of 10. That's fine. The problem we have is 14th motorized. Um, his commander's way over here because that's 39th Panzer Corps. That's True Got Air, who's a uh, pretty good pretty dang good commander i we're gonna have to move true god air out here somewhere now i think we'll have to put him hmm, i think on top of that panzer division just so this is now in command that's five of five that's in com oh he's going oh no never mind he's going to true god air as well as well and let's make sure he's got his support units well he's got some I wouldn't mind if we had an extra Stug or something to give to him, but it does not look like we have such a thing. Uh, the other thing I was thinking about potentially doing, this is a clear hex, is moving this here 
and moving the motorized down here because that 14th motorized fairly strong but this is so weak right here uh i don't feel like we can do that uh i could also take this and move it some, or I thought I could move it somewhere, but I can't. Both of these have moved, so there's nothing else I can do with them. Now, we could leave a gap here and move, you know, 125th ID down here potentially, scoot things over, make things happen, but I think I'm going to keep all this the same. Uh, okay, that's going back to 35th. 35th, uh, right, okay. Um, this Panzer Corps, we just dealt with that. We may as well put 18th Panzer Division in with that, right? Uh, I've got him on reserve. He actually needs to be quite active now. Let's put him into 39th Panzer Corps. Done. All right. So now we've got that taken care of we don't have any mismatch penalties that i can see anyway this infantry is quite strong it's a brand new uh division and i could even you know i'm tempted to move something on top of that panzer i don't want it to be sitting all alone but i really worry about these units um what are you going back to you're going back to sixth core that's Walt Weiss. He's already at 10 of 10. He's kind of got units all strung out here. Uh, we've got 10 of 10 there, but we don't have to. For instance, this unit, you know, I've got this just sitting on top of Vilnius. Um, He's got no more movement. He's got no more, more movement. 60, I mean, this is kind of all just hodgepodge here. 16th Panzer, you know, uh, these retreats, uh, you don't always get them exactly. <laughs> you may find that shocking watching this Let's Play. You don't always get the retreats exactly the way you want them. Uh, let's move uh, Highway to Hell back, 4th and 3rd. That I think I'm going to leave that all the same. We'll just leave it there. I've got everybody under the command that they should be. We don't have any mismatch penalties. Uh, I'm worried about having this Panzer Division all by himself, but he is in a light woods hex. This division, you know, not strong. If he attacks right here, we got a real problem. Uh, but I don't think there's a whole hell of a lot I can do about it unless I move this here and I move the motorized down here. And I don't really want to do that. Um... Or do I? I could always put the motor. I can't put the motorized in there, but I could put it in here and I could switch places there. Let's, well, I actually, I can't. He can't move at all. Um, and I'm worried about this. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm staring at it. I said I'm going to leave it, but all of these guys are ready, which I find shocking. Um... I may actually move this unit over here. I just don't want these panzers completely exposed by themselves. So I'm going to move that over there, and I'm going to put it in the panzer division, this infantry, for a turn. Um, 39th. Oh, I already switched that one. Okay, fine. Whatever. Uh, he's going to. He's just there to absorb any losses before they start wrecking tanks. Um, <coughs> where are we here? Whoa, I got myself all caught up there. Um, okay, now then we've got a bunch of Hungarians out here that are in horrific shape. 12th Hungarian Light Division. Uh, yeah, he doesn't look great. Um, I'm going to actually, well, what else do we have here? I mean, that Light Division looks terrible. That Light Division looks terrible. I think we're going to have to go grab one of our, um... There we go. One of our replacement units, German units, put him on the train and take him up into this area. Now, I could get him here with 90. I could get him off at Conus. Uh, he could probably get off the train there almost certainly, which could. Well, he doesn't have enough movement points to move now, I don't think. Well, he could go one. Hmm... If I come into Vilnius, I definitely can't do anything. I'm going to take 3rd Panzer Army. 
Is that true? No, I'm going to take fourth army and scoot him back a hex. So if I want to grab one of these and take him into Conus, I can. Why do I keep having such a hard time finding Warsaw? There we go. Warsaw! Let's go into Conus. We would have 93 left there. 96 here, but they definitely couldn't get off the train there is the problem. And so we've got a huge hole there, but one of, you know, this unit next turn can start to move down here and take up territory. So let's move him up there. Let's take him off the train. Now how far can he move? Okay, he can get a little ways. He could get a little ways, potentially. Um... I think what I'm going to do is move this infantry kind of, I don't know, right here uh, and just try to block off more of this. Now, all of this can start to scoot down next turn if we get this junk out of here. Um, 387th, so he's going back to 68th core. 68th core is at 10 of 10. Uh, is this where Ernst Highway to Hell starts to pick up? Potentially. Oh, there was somebody out here that was 14 of 10. Where are you? Where are you? That's 8 of 10. That's Hubei. We do have a withdrawer on turn 96, by the way, there. But that's not a huge deal. They should be out. That's 11 of 10. There it is. It's uh, Rindulik. Uh, fine. He's going back to 9th Army. That's now got 34 of 30, so he's a little overstacked. 2nd uh, Army... Has got 29 of 30. The fourth army has got four of 30. All right, Ernst Highway to Hell is going into fourth army. You never thought you'd see it. Um, we've also got 53rd Corps here and 10th Corps. Well, who would we rather pick up? So Recknagel 875 with a seven. It's not bad. Kleeman, a bunch of a seven and a seven for the important ones. And then Ernst Hell is seven six five seven. Well, out of all of that, Kleeman, I believe, or I'm sorry, Recknagel is actually the best, and he's already in fourth army. So I'm going to move Recknagel, I guess, onto the rail there, and he is tenth core. Let's put this in tenth core. Okay. And Recknagel, we know, has support units. Indeed, he does. I think this will actually maybe put in 10th Corps as well. And maybe 4th Army actually ends up down in this area. Uh, so that goes there. 53rd Corps. This is the only thing. Where is 9th Corps all the way down there? Okay, we could put both of these guys in 10th Corps, potentially. 53rd. Oh, I see. Okay, let's put this in 53rd Corps. So that's under Kleeman. All right, so they're both in 53rd Corps. We could even put this motorized in 53rd Corps. We've got a lot of free... Uh, command points in fourth army so now he's up to eight of ten uh Clemens a seven on the mech so that's fine if we were going to put you know a mech in that's where you'd want to do it uh and then these guys instead of ninth core can go to tenth core or he could go to into 53rd core as well Clemens more than okay there okay let's do that then well, that all worked out uh, so 53rd Corps, and that takes him to 10 of 10. And now Kleeman has got this, these guys here. Uh, you're going there, and that is the... Nope, that's Walt Weiss. That's fine. We like Walt Weiss to have as much as possible. Now uh, Rindulik is down to 10 of 10. Uh, Sixth Panzer, he's to that. That's fine. Ernst Highway to Hell doesn't really need to be in 4th Army, but he is. 4th is only at 14 of 30, so we can put more underneath that as we bring more uh, German units up here. Okay, uh, the problem is we got a big, nasty-looking Hungarian group here that just can't stop anything. Um, I think what we have to do is take this unit. Oh, gosh, not really. 44, 9,600... Uh, here's a Jaeger division. Now that's interesting. 
because I do have German units down here that can do things. Now, that's some Luftwaffe field divisions, of course, uh, but this unit can get a long ways up here. Now, these light divisions, you kind of want them in the mud, right? Uh, Grodno, okay. Uh, Hungarian Command, okay. 96, 44. I guess I need to keep this German unit here, and then we'll go into the heavy woods there. We'll go into, let's say, the rough down here. We've got a Luftwaffe field division back here. Is this swamp? Please be swamp. It is swamp. Let's go there. Back him up into that swamp. Uh, I'm just going to have to let these guys sit here this time. They're not in good shape. I know it. Uh, it's a terrible situation. But I should start to be able to expand south next time. And then I think we've got to go... Hmm. Let's look at this down here. We've got this Jaeger division that's pretty damn good. I think I'll actually stick him in the swamp there. Okay. And then, boy, that field division, <laughs> that looks weak. But at least we've got a strong Jaeger division there. We've got one there. Hungarians that don't look great there, but we got a bunch of men anyway. Uh, we'll go he heavy woods here and just try to stack as much in there as I can for a turn. Or do I go get one more? I want all of that to go south, though. I mean, I really need it to go south. Uh, these, you know, these light divisions, we've got the rail there we've got the army here oh boy the hungarians really not in great shape here certainly um let's put this unit here okay if i look at this command he's got 10 of 10 he's got all the hungarians here are they in command though Five of five, they are. Well, we this one, I guess I'll put on refit just in case. Uh, well, they're unready. Okay, they're all unready, so it doesn't really matter. Um, my goodness. Refit, because they're unready. They're all unready to fight. Uh, that's a big hole in the line, guys. Not going to not gonna sugarcoat that one. Um, I guess Luftwaffe field divisions are going to have to hold this area down here for a turn let's get you back to your headquarters uh oh good we have hungarian armor well that's the hungarian armor will sit right up here and uh let's put him on reserve for now um he is under the luftwaffe field corps sure why not uh, that's there and then we have another luftwaffe field corps here i guess you know, I don't know. We're just going to try to hold him off here for a turn or so. Although I get, I could bring one of these Warsaw units here, but I, it's always the same problem. I end up using up all of my units up here. So we're in heavy wood, swamp, town, uh, swamp, heavy woods. I mean, I don't know what else to do. We just don't have enough units here until I can expand out. So that's just going to have to hold. The Germans here are going to have to hold. Everything else, I don't know. It's a freaking dice roll. Let's see what can happen. We're going to put him there, and we'll put this uh, in there with the third. That's not strong enough to hold. We may move more up here. We'll see. Uh, okay, down into this German area, the 17th Army. This is 52nd Corps. 52nd Corps is under Boge. Uh, he's a good, good infantry general, certainly. He's got 8 of 10. So he can take this unit as well. So that was 52nd. Really helped that we go went to 10 of 10. The only problem is 17th Army is way oversubscribed now. We've got to get 4th Army down here taking more of this. Uh, Rightio then. Um, this light unit, now he's going to move around here. Eh, is that true or am I going to put him down here? Well, 
How about we take these Hungarians? That would only be four left there, four there. This cavalry's not too bad. Let's put him there. Now, we've got this surrounded three ways, and I'm going to attack it, mainly just because I need it out of here. Let's hit that. And he goes the other direction. Okay. 1207, 49, and 63. So we do some real damage there. Although we do take 885 ourselves. Now then. Oh, wow. You son of a gun. You went the wrong way on a 4 to 1. I'll tell you that. Uh, let's put that there. Let's return that to the headquarters. And let's try this again. He would still have nine left there, and he's a fresh unit. So let's try to hit this all with everything we got. And there he goes. He just surrendered. Wow. Okay, 12,448 Soviets, 199 guns, 19 AFVs, and they lost 18 planes just for fun. Uh, wow, <laughs> that worked out better than I could have ever dreamed. Um, this is a very good division. This is okay. This is cavalry. These Hungarians could certainly start trying to move somewhere more beneficial. Um, we've got every other hex here. I think I'll leave the cavalry there. I think I'll take this light division and start moving out into this area to get into the swamp. He can't get there. So let's go there and for now anyway i'm gonna put these hungarians this is all swamp back here that's great talk about the pripyat marshes holy smack you can't move through this thing well let's hope that's true let's put him there we don't have fort levels here so it doesn't really matter uh, I would eventually like to get them north up into those marshes. We've got a mountain group here that can get out. Uh, get out. Let's bring that. Uh, how far can these guys go? Not far. Uh, let's go there and there and there. And then let's take this and we'll just move it to, let's say, there for this time and try to hold as much of this as we can so we can get these guys out next time. Uh, we do have a Hungarian light division down here as well. He can't move up. Oh, there's 8th Hungarian core i wondered where he was uh not really i wasn't really that concerned where he was uh let's move him over here and then let's take the light division here which is fairly strong for hungarian purposes and let's move him up here in the swamp okay i like that a little better so he's eight of ten he's got five of ten He goes back to second Hungarian army. The Hungarian army is at 23 of 30. That's fine. This FBD, we're going to put in Breslitovsk. We'll also put 52nd in here. And I think actually maybe I'll... Eh, I don't really want to back up. I kind of like where we are here. Uh, I don't think they can come take this town. I mean, that's not the strongest unit we have out here, certainly. He could come back around here a little bit. Not him. We could also bring this north up into this area. I guess this is the only place I'd be worried about, and I'm not even that worried about that. We do have the Hungarian Brigade back here. I think that's fine. I think we'll just keep it like that, and then we'll get these guys out next time. Um, well, this unit can get up here. A little ways, anyway. He can't move. That's so strange. Uh, let, 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 I want to keep the German there. I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay, uh, moving down here, we have got 11th Corps. Again, 17th Army's at 39 of 30. we got to figure out something about that. we got to put it in Kemp or something. Here we're in the heavy woods, right? 
Uh, we want to be in the heavy woods. That's great. Then we have 328th ID. This unit is in terrible shape. Let's put him on top of the depot. Actually, not true. Um, let's put him... So we've got this good motorized unit. Let's take this unit for a moment and put it right there and then let's take the motorized and this good division and try to beat the living heck out of this uh tank core well we do in the sense that we only lost 169 men the soviets lost 890 23 and 73 avs uh and also 71 planes okay uh now then we've got a fresh division there let's hit it again and we knock it back again, eh, not quite as much that time, but we knocked out another 70 planes or so. Now, this division is not strong. He's got 10 of 10. He's got this unit here that is strong. We've got one that's pretty strong here. Uh, we've got this division that is in the swamp, light woods. What is this? Swamp uh righty oh then no reason to stay there let's go here this unit i'll get try to get into town next time and he can sit here which will free up the motorized now this is going to have to sit here just because the way that all worked out uh but now we're every other hex there and now we can take this division could he no i can't transfer i was thinking he could go up that rail line but actually what i probably want to do with him is just set him back here i'll put him on this rail line how about that and he's closer to his guys oh these guys are in terrible shape hold on undo that now i could triple stack here map info logistics let's look at defensiveness it's a 23 uh he's a nine it's only a level one fort would have thought it would be a little better than that uh we could triple stack here for a turn or this is where we could put one of the units but i'm really trying to save that for even deeper to the south so okay that's gonna have to do for now and now that town's a 35 i think it can hold uh we're in the swamp here with 6800 men that's not great uh certainly um now that's going back to 17th, and he's got 11 of 10. Where is Kempf? I always ask about, there it is. He's at 31 of 30, though. We got to have 4th Army take more of the load. We're just not in a position to do it yet, unfortunately. So 17th is going to be overburdened for a bit. Uh, okay, let's get back up here. So this is the weakest place. Um, 14 well i say that was the weakest place i'm not sure that was true that's pretty damn weak himself he needs to come up here and they need to double stack so let's do that let's move him around there okay now who are you with buddy okay this is only at eight of ten these two can go into 54th core that is under free snur. he's got everything he needs so instead of 59th we want to go into 54th okay so into 54th core we go into the 54th core hold on hold on right okay so this will also go into the 54th core just making sure I had all this correct. Uh, 54th Corps. Now, he is oversubscribed for the moment until we take this division and give it to 59th Corps. So we'll do that. 59th Corps. Okay. He's in a level zero fort, but he is in a swamp, which we always like. This division's in the rough. That's why I have it this way. Swamp and then rough. Okay. That all works. We do not want the armor in the rough. I put it there for a second, but we actually want that to go back and we'll put that in reserve. Now he's in a level two forward. It shows 28. We got 19 there. I mean, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but at least we've got some armor behind the line here. 
Uh, this is a brand new division, level two fort. This is not a brand new division, but he did, actually doesn't look too bad for defensiveness. Um, these are two halfway decent divisions that add up to an 87. Well, I don't think we have to have an 87 here. It is a level three fort. I could leave the stronger of the two here and take the weaker and potentially move it up. He's at 9 of 10 because he is commanding the Romanian armor, so that costs 3. This is 1st core. He's at 7 of 10. This is 17th core. Okay, so 17th core is under Kreising. He can take whatever we dish out at him. He's only at 8 of 10. He's got good support units. So he's got this, this. Okay, I don't think that makes sense. So let's give him this, this. And then you are now in the 17th core as well. All right. So he's got these guys. And then first core is underneath Joshki, but he needs to have all infantry. All right. So Joshki's only got five, and you can see, what has he got, Romanians down here? He does, including a cavalry corps. We do not want him to have a cavalry corps. Uh... And it's Romanian cavalry. Well, there's a Romanian cavalry corps right there. I didn't want them to have the penalty but we're in a level three fort now, so I think we'll change that over and we'll put that in Cavalry Romanian. Okay, so he goes back there and uh, let's return that to headquarters. We've got a Panzer Division directly behind that. And then let's take out this Cavalry Corps and where do we want to put it? Well, where all do you have units? He can move up. Okay, and then we could take this cavalry corps. So we've got armor there. We've got the two commands there. Let's take this command and just move it up here uh, so we keep all of this straight. He's only got that, two of ten now. Okay, um, this cavalry corps, first Romanian cavalry. Let's put that like... here okay so now i've just got i'm trying to build layers you know that's that's my goal um reserve that's fine let's put this on reserve that's fine uh hey there was the puppy um second romanian is part of the mountain core okay so the mountain core can move a little further south there we go Okay, so there I've got the Romanians. He's a, why is this out of command? Six of five. That doesn't look like six hexes, but I guess it is. Okay, well, one, two, three. He can actually come here. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Undo. Uh, he can come here. Now everybody's in command. And the German command can come down here. That is 49th Mountain Corps. He's going back to Kempf. Okay, that all works. Uh, everybody's in good shape. And we have this good Romanian Mountain Division that's just sitting back here at Stanislav. Uh, where do we want to put that? Well, I want to put it on a hill uh, somewhere. Maybe here? What is this? Uh, rough. Rough. Okay, there's two German divisions that German division needs to go. Uh, let's put you there. Let's put you back in the reserves. Um, Axis reserves. Off you go. And then we'll bring this up. Okay. And he can go into this mountain core as well because now he's down to 7 of 10. Even though it's Romanians, we can go into that mountain core. Is he already in that mountain core? Oh, he is. Oh, duh. Okay. No, he's not. This one's not. Got it. Okay, so we have two Romanians now underneath 
49th Mountain Corps, but they're strong. They're mountain units. They show a 51 defensiveness. They're building a fort level. So we've got 64, 51, 21 I don't love. I actually, what is this? Light Woods. I'm tempted to move this in here. I hate to have them on the line because we may need help right there. Tell you what, I'm going to move this one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to move him up here because that's the spot I'm most worried about as we move down the line. Uh, maybe here, but he's in a level three fort. That's a tough attack, especially with the Panzer that can division that can jump in. 64. We've got cavalry there that can also be on reserve. So it can go into anything. We've got this in reserve. We've got, okay, that's fine. 61. I like the looks of that. I like the cut of your jib. Uh, okay, we've got Romanians under German command here. 13th Corps. He's only at 7 of 10. All right. This is a problem. Uh, <laughs> to say the least, we had a withdrawer. Uh, so this withdrew. And we're going to have to go grab something else to put here. But what? But what, he says. Uh, so we had an infantry, I think, or a motorized division. I, mean, I can't remember which uh, that withdrew there. Now, we've got a really strong Romanian ID there that could come up. Um, he's at 8 of 10. So he could take that in command. Now, I did push this up here. 10 of 10... 2 of 10. All right, so this could take the Romanian, but I already said Joshki's not very good at such things. Uh, hmm. 14, 23. I'm going to go to the comments for a second. I've been head down this entire time. Ah. Sarge, we didn't make too many early mistakes. Uh, yeah, we did, but that's all right. We're still going to win the game. Um, puppy power, <laughs> still winnable, Sergeant Eric. Indeed it is. Uh, indeed it is. Oh, yeah. Episode 63, turn 15. The drive on Moscow falls apart. Uh, Nord claims he was screaming. Probably. Nah, we're all right. You guys, you guys get too negative sometimes. We're in actually better shape than I thought we would be about 10 turns ago, 15 turns ago. I didn't know if we were going to make it to Checkpoint Charlie, but we did. We did. We made it. Um, I am going to take, okay, so 3rd Romanian Army, 3rd Panzer Corps. He's only at 5 of 10, for goodness sakes. Um... Seven of ten. Zorn is okay. He could certainly take more. And he is going directly back to Army Group South, though, is a problem. Uh, it's just a problem of command we have right now. That's the Mountain Corps. We still have, don't forget, we've got stuff we can bring from Warsaw. Two divisions, and then we got a full, big, beautiful division back here as well. As I come along here, I'm just trying to decide exactly where I want to do that. Uh, it looks like this Romanian headquarters, the 5th, has about three divisions that we could pop up here into that. Can he, You can get there. You can get... Look at you Romanians go. Now, I'm not going to be as deep back here as I'd like to be, but I am going to move that up there. One... Two, and then we'll take the Netherlands SS. I don't know. We'll put him back here by Chernovsky. Uh He can hang out there. I'll just put him on reserve for now. Uh, now their defensiveness is at 20, even in a level three fort. Uh, okay, let's take the headquarters, move it up here. Does he have anybody else? Nope, that's all fine. So we got it to a 20. It's not perfect. Got a lot of Romanian commands just sitting out here, uh, certainly. 
Where are you going? That's third Romanian army. Let's put him in Chernovsi. Uh, sure. Let's put him there. He goes back to Army Group Antonescu. That's fine. They're all in command. That all looks good. That's only a 20. I don't love it, but uh, we've had worse in this game. We've certainly had worse. Uh, okay, that's a brand new division. Uh, this is 24th Corps, which is underneath Grosser. 8, 7, 6, and a 7. We'll take that. Uh, Grosser also has the Arab Special back here. Where does he want to be? I guess he'll just stay right here in Botasani. He's enjoying himself. Uh, first Panzer. That should be fine. So we've got 57, 50, 41, 20 with the Romanians, which is always a problem, right? 61, 47, 64. That all looks really good. 51. We've got 21 here, but we've got the Panzer Division right behind it. 15 here. Probably the biggest problem we have, but we do have at least something behind it. Uh, I think this might be a place we want to put in a unit, uh, probably here as well, because I'd rather get that depth with the Romanians kind of back in the mountains and, and whatnot. Uh, this is going to have to sit for another turn, even though I'd rather get the motorized off the line. 57 will do. 19. Now, this is where we lost another withdrawer. Uh, 74, 11 there. See, none of this looks good. This is all out of 46th Panzer Corps, Von Vettengoff. Uh, okay, I'm going to actually scoot him back one. That's that's where I'm at right now. Now, he could go, this motorized could go here and go under Von Vettengoff because uh, Von Vettengoff is, you know, good both mech and infantry. So he certainly could take this. I do worry about this, but I worry more about him just completely breaking through. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to put it in the Panzer Corps, 46th Panzer Corps. Uh, let's do that. 46 Panzer Corps. Okay. Now we're 43, 35. That's kind of weak. I mean, we, you know, look, he's surrounded three ways. We got a real problem there potentially. Uh, but this is also where we may bring some of this infantry in. And so we go up to Warsaw. If I can ever find it, there it is. Let's put somebody on a train. Let's go for a little train ride through. Well, I was going to say through the Ukraine, but we're really uh, taking our train ride through Romania. That's not how I drew it up, guys. It's not how I drew it up. Uh, so we're going to need something there. 35, 40. I'd like to get the motorized back off. You know, we can't get off the train out here. That's going to be impossible. So I guess I'm going to just come here for a turn. So there's one guy, and we've got two left that we can apportion out here. Let's make sure nobody's got any movement points in Hungary. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing. All right. Uh, boop, boop, doo, 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 50, 49, 46. Oh, those are movement points. Too bad. Uh, 34, 47, 56, 69, 33, 44. That all looks okay. Uh, 15 does not look okay. Uh, we do have the Panzer Division here on reserve right behind them, though. Um, let's make sure this is okay. 9 of 10, that's fine. 55th, uh, the very handsome Rudolf von uh, Bueno is out here. He's got nobody. Nobody wants to hang out with uh, Rudolf. Uh, okay, that's fine, but we may, well, we may look for something there. 33. 33 is a little weak. 15 is obviously weak, but then we go 28, 22, 39, 13. Ouch! Uh, I don't really think we have anything I can get over here. So what I was thinking about doing is backing this line up one and putting one of these... Now, these guys are not in good shape, but putting one with the Panzers... Because we've got a zone of control there and one over here, but I don't think that's going to work. I think instead, let's see what each one of these is individually. Uh, it's 46 together. We've got 19 with the Flieger, 11 with the Hungarian armor, 
and 16. So I really think the Hungarian armor's got to come over here. Okay, Martinik's not terrible, at least. Uh, that 22 is worrisome as well, certainly. At least it's a level 3 fort. Make sure I don't have any other units over here. I'm like, is there a unit over here? God, I hope so. Now, we do have... some Romanian units down here. They can't get all the way here, but at least one of them can stand back up for a turn just on the chance that there's a breakthrough here. Maybe he can't seal that off. Um, possible. Let's take the German unit off the ships. Hmm... One of these Romanian units is going to have to come over here because we've got a gap already and we're going to have more. Um, why don't... Now he can't get on the line anywhere. You know, he can get up to there, but that's about it. Uh, let's take the stronger of the two, 19th. I'm going to put him up here. Okay. <clears throat> now then, 10 of 10... 9 of 10, but I do have 30th core here. Okay, so let's work backwards. Uh, let's go to the Crimea first. Uh, this is going to stay the same, obviously. This is going to stay the same. This uh, Romanian army is going to move to... The, well, let's make sure nobody's withdrawing. Nothing there, nothing there. That's fine. Uh, nothing there... Nothing withdrawing there or there. Okay, these guys are pretty weak. So I'm actually going to take, let's see, 7583. That's 15,000. This is a unit that got rebuilt. Corne's at 8 of 10, uh, and Hollett is at 10 of 10. So Hollett's going to have all this. That's fine. 18 and 22, that's not great, but okay. Uh this is 12,000 men, but they're not very strong. They've been on the move. Let's put that there, and we can put that. Yeah, I'm going to have one too many divisions here, aren't I? Uh, what kind of support unit? Hollett's got good support units. Do I always want him to take a penalty? Well, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, nope, we can't get anything for Cornet out here. Um, he's got this and this. Got that core. So I was debating whether to take this here. Why don't I take the weaker of these two uh, front? Put that there. And then I'll take the stronger and keep it there. You know, that's where we're most likely to get attacked, right? And then we want to make sure this goes back to Corne. Uh, he's 11th Romanian Corps. So we'll put him in 11th. All right. So that's fine. And then this unit... He's with Corne. He's with... Oh, okay. Everybody's with him. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. So we're 10 of 10. 10 of 10. Oh, he's... That's the one. Second Romanian. Sorry. I, uh, you idiot. Uh, <laughs> he's right there. Uh, fourth Romanian army. He's going directly back to that. Well, I think that's okay for now. It's not like Corne has any support units anyway, uh, but it does remove a layer where he could be passing rolls potentially. But I don't want to give everybody else a penalty. F ah, screw it. I am going to. 11th. I, I talked myself out of it and then into it. 11th Romanian. So he's going to be one over. I could do it with the German, but I feel like this is the linchpin of our defense, certainly. And I've got a whole nother division that potentially goes over there. Now this, I'm going to put on refit. This German 292nd ID, because that's actually what I'd like to get back over here. But we'll see if that works. And I think because of that, I am going to move this Romanian unit up here in this area. Maybe here... Nope, not there. Undo. Let's move him. 
He could either go here. Let's put him behind this guy just in case of a breakthrough. That's all I'm trying to guard against here. Uh, and let's give all of them to 10th. Now, what does 6th Army look like? He's 29 of 30. Uh, Antonescu, 36, 120. We could put this in Army Group Antonescu. I don't love doing that, but we could. Uh, let's make sure his infantry score is okay. Breath, yeah, he's all right. He's better mech, actually, but okay. Um, and I, you know what I'm going to actually do? Something different. I'm going to take this Hungarian armor and go there. Then I'm going to take Breath out of here. I haven't switched him yet. I'm going to take him off the train. I'm going to scoot him up here. And I'm going to give this stack right here to breathe, all of it. So this will be, make sure he's got support. Ah, crud a, on a stick. Uh, well, 83, 75, 50. Okay, we can build one. Um, 83, 75, light flak, motorized mixed flak. Now, they're not in great shape. I know that, uh, but it's better than nothing. We're going to give that to breathe. But because of that, I'm going to have to change something. Okay, so 11 of 10. This is 34. This is under Grossner. You know, I'd rather he not be overstacked, but I'm not sure we've got a choice. Now, we could give this to him in 30th core and then give Reinhardt. Forty first. So we've got forty first and forty first here. That's one division, two divisions. Three divisions more. Oh, uh that's forty first. Oh, I see what we can do. Um let's do this. Let's put you in the four you're now in the forty first Panzer Corps. Uh, there we go. And then we'll put this in the 41st Panzer Corps. Reinhardt's a better general anyway. I'd rather have more under Reinhardt. Uh, rightio then. Okay, so now we've got that. Um, then I'm going to put the two Romanians underneath Breath. Uh, that is 30th Corps. Okay. You are now in the 30th Corps. There we go. And you are also in the 30th Corps. He says. Easy to say. And then Breath is going to go... Now, he could go back to 6th Army and we could... Oh! Maybe that's what I want to happen. Um... Okay. So yeah, because I, I shifted some of that over into 4th Panzer. So let's put you into 6th Army. We'll give you... Let's go renovate our house here. Make you a little blue. What color do I have some of this other crap? How about straight blue? Uh, set formation color. Okay, there they go. So now we know they're in 6th Army. All right. And then if we go back to 32 of 30, that's not terrible. Uh, Fourth Panzer Army. Why are the... Oh, we had a core withdraw. Got it. Got it. Okay. So all of these guys are going back to that. No, we can't have that. Uh, he's 9 of 10, 0 of 10, 55th core. Von Bueno, he's also got, oh, he doesn't have any support units. Okay. 8 of 10, 51st core, that's there, that's there. You're in 4th core. Hase, he's only a 3 mech. He's got to have all infantry. Well, what I was going to do, I'll put him, this in 35th core. I think we know that's going to happen. Is that right? I thought that's who that was. Oh, I'm sorry. 44th Corps. Wow, I was really off on that. Uh, 44th Corps. There we go. He's up to 8 of 10. All right. 
Now then. These guys are all going back to 4th Arm Panzer Army because they lost their command. They may have to go into here for a turn, or what I'll more likely do It's a lot of infantry in this. Field Division, ooh, yuck. Uh, that's ugly looking, although it looks pretty good. There are 69. These guys are going to need another command. All right. Well, we're going to do that tomorrow. Um, and we're going to turn the turn. What's tomorrow? Thursday? Uh, yes, I do have uh, core headquarters sitting back there. I've got enough core headquarters out here. The problem is uh, the one I have left isn't as good as at doing motorized but i i know we can figure that out because i have a few that have some uh empty you know spots but i want to look at this one more time before we turn the turn and rather than me going i right, for the next 20 minutes we're going to come back tomorrow i'll be ready to go we'll turn the turn i'll show you what i'm doing or maybe i'll just do it online once i've got it figured out uh and off we go off we go another turn in the books so anyway thank you guys so much i know it was a lot of head down today i was trying to make it all the way to the end of the board i was hoping to turn the turn didn't quite get there in the hour mark uh but tomorrow we'll do it first thing and then we'll go and look at all of our stuff uh whatnot so you have a great wednesday evening the puppy says goodbye i hope you can hear that uh she's ready for me to be done streaming she's like take me to the doggy park uh, so anyway, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the great comments. Uh, thanks for yelling sometimes. Sometimes I need that. I need the motivation. So uh, 